Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Rachel Lucas. Finger pointing and the blame game. Our investigation into the fallout of local football program has taken yet another turn. 10 News reporter Alyssa Ray has been looking into this for weeks and she explains why we now know this story goes beyond the Star City all the way to the other side of the country. Since our initial reports, the head coach, Pope Mitchell, has resigned. But after speaking to former players and an assistant coach, many believe the root of the problem was much bigger than him. When we sat down with South Forest Community Christian head coach and athletic director, Pope Mitchell, in July, he was adamant his team was funded by Community Christian College, an online school in California. The funding comes from the bodies in the academics. To be, to be eligible for our program, you must take classes through CCC. At that time, CCC was quick to deny these statements, telling 10 News they have no affiliation with the team in Roanoke, and they maintain that now. Community Christian College has nothing to do with this, and they keep getting brought in for this. That's one of CCC's regional athletic directors, Tracy Davis, who says he nor Community Christian College has anything to do with SFCC, but he has a theory why they're being involved. Pope Mitchell is his son. You don't know the backstory. This is an attack coming from over there because of my son, and I know that. But since our initial stories on the broken promises of the SFCC program aired, we've obtained documents that may suggest CCC's involvement. The first, a memorandum of understanding between an assistant coach, CCC's president, Brian Carroll, and Davis. I asked if they aren't involved, then why are their names listed on the MOU? That one that you talking about with Virginia is not real. That's not a, that is not a contract that I signed or Brian signed. So do you think Pope altered it to put Roanoke, Virginia in that, there? That is, that is our belief. That's all I can tell you. However, that MOU was sent from Davis's email account to Mitchell back in 2020 when the program was just starting up. We sent this evidence to CCC. They say it appears the documents are all made up. That was just the start of communications between Davis and the team here in Roanoke. Also in 2020, he sent Austin Wilhelm, a former wide receiver for Allegheny High School, an email welcoming him to the Bobcats program, something Davis denies ever doing. I don't send welcome letters. They're not my kids. We have them from your CCC email saying welcome, welcome to the Bobcats. Another link between the local team and the California school is the $1,500 athletic fee that Wilhelm says CCC added to his invoice. He says the college still calls trying to collect the money though he left the team before even playing a game two years ago. They're not a CCC player and nothing to do with CCC. Then, then why do we have a receipt from a player, a transcript saying that CCC took out $1,500 for an athletic fee when he has, he's not playing for CCC? Why would they do that? that if you read the MLU agreement, it tells them what they're going to get in an MLU agreement. But remember, CCC and Davis have previously said the MOU agreement is not real. As far as funding, Davis outlined in an email to Mitchell in 2020 how CCC gets paid from the players who enroll in the college, saying, so whatever is booked is what we will get compensated for. He goes on to say, we will not get the fee for any student who has not completed financial aid. On the phone, however, Davis claimed he had no knowledge. If CCC can explain why they're charging the kids FAFSA, $1,500 a player. And don't say MOU because they said MOU's made up. I'm not a part of that That particular, I don't know how that comes about. However, Davis sent another email to Mitchell with a student consent form for an athletic program participation fee that he told Mitchell his players need to fill out. That fee, again, is listed at $1,500. We asked CCC about the athletic fee, and they directed us back to their website. They fund both on-campus and off-campus students to play sports. There was no further explanation as to why these fees were applied to athletes in Virginia who aren't recognized by CCC. Mitchell spelled it out from the beginning. So that's where our funding comes from, is that once they have taken classes through CCC, then those funds for that person will be released to us athletically. So CCC gives you funds if the kids enroll? Yes. This notion is reiterated yet again by an email we obtained that was sent to Mitchell in 2021 by an on-campus athletic director at CCC with an attachment of the football roster and the players who did not apply for FAFSA. The email goes on to say, without this part being completed, funds cannot be drawn down. 
flag shopping, keep flag shopping. No one from Community Christian College or SFCC has been accused of or charged with criminal misconduct in connection with the SFCC Bobcats program. Despite many documents contradicting CCC's position, the college says it stands by its initial statement. It has no ties with South Forest Community Christian. I spoke with many of the players who believe Mitchell had good intentions, but that he wasn't given the help he was promised from Davis and CCC, and that he fronted much of the costs himself. Mitchell tells me all he wanted was for players who thought they couldn't make it to have the chance to try. In the studio, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you. The president of CCC issued a statement saying, quote, this is a regrettable event and we appreciate Alyssa Ray at WSLS for bringing this to our attention. We will do everything we can to help. Community Christian College is offering the Roanoke students an opportunity to play for our NJCAA Division I teams in California and Michigan, or we'll provide them a full refund while allowing them to keep all grades and courses. We also spoke to the Roanoke Commonwealth's Attorney's Office, who are aware of our investigation.